what's up? This is not such much gaming 12. <coughs> and uh, I've got um, a FIFA 13 career mode video, and uh, I'm sure I'm gonna be uh, Everton FC. And uh, yeah, I'm just changing the stadium here because they don't have Goodson Park, so um, I thought to just you know pick a stadium for a light. And uh, eventually, I think I come across this Stadio Nacional. Yeah, and um, yeah, this is just my first video of FIFA on this channel. So um, hopefully, you can like and comment and be cute. But you know, I prefer a comment than a like. If I'm honest. Get some feedback on the on the video from you guys. But yeah, um, these will probably be coming out about every two days, so today's um, Thursday, next one will be Saturday, and Monday, and so on and so forth. So yeah, we apply that, and uh, next up was uh, for me to, because uh, I want to download those squads, and obviously, we've got Champions League and Europe League and all that, I don't use this uh, fake one. Oops, sorry, uh, I have to rewind with uh, realistic teams and all that stuff so I just quickly have to put one of those squads on again for some reason it went to default uh, we have it on pounds, world class setting you can see there uh, I've been appointed as new manager and the objective is to get your way for cup which I think is pretty realistic and here I just have a quick look through the squad have a look at the players and for some reason Tim Howard wasn't uh, in the team this won't be exactly the team I'm just having a quick you know look at it see what areas may need to be improved obviously uh, Baines and Fellaini are two standout players in this team for some reason Fellaini's only 80 overall which I think is uh, pretty harsh I think it should be a bit higher than that <coughs> but you know uh, bring in Ross Barkley because he's young uh, hopefully he can get his uh, overall up with his um, high potential just had a look at Shane Duffy, you know, young centre back. Doubt he'd become too much. Don't have too much hope for him. Uh, and yeah, just having a look at Johnny Isaac. I see if he, in my opinion, if he was any better than Simon Distan. But uh, I thought I'd leave it to uh, see how they play in the friendlies and see how that goes. Um, so next up was for me to uh, looking at selling players. I saw it by overall, see who the crappiest players are. This guy was just awful, 50 overall at 18. Matthew Kennedy was awful as well. Some of these I couldn't sell because they just recently joined, so I had to um, uh, just put them out for loan, get rid of them, and get their overall up, get their price up. It might make a bit, a bit of dosh, a bit of wonga next year. And uh, yeah, 55 diving, I'm pretty sure. Someone in a wheelchair could dive better than that, but you know. Francisco Jr. had 86 balance, you know, 81 passing here from George Green, made me think, mm, you know, maybe he can develop a bit, but I doubt he will. So then I go looking for a defender, because uh, I don't think I have that much strength for them, and I come against win, only 65 overall, but uh, unbelievable speed freak, he's really cheap from Colorado Rapids, so yeah, I thought to get him, and as you saw, Coleman wasn't that strong at right back, so uh, I fought to find a right back and I found Martin Montoya. And I looked to bring him on loan from FC Barcelona. And here you can see I'm just having a quick look at transfer listed players that weren't really there that I thought was any good. So I continued my search and uh, come across players on free. See if there was any uh, gems, hidden gems. A lot of these players are fairly old, not bad overall. Uh, then I come across Pedro, Pedro Azagu, yeah, however you say that. Uh, uh, only 17 years old, centre defensive mid, 64 overall, so he's got a nice bit of potential about him. And where well, I see it with a free play, you can't lose out, you can't really lose any money. So, and our big was rejected for my other win, so we had to come back in. And my next offer well, was 350,000, uh, was my next offer, uh, uh, which is still very cheap. And for 15k per week, Martin Montoya has joined the team, he's free overall better than Seamus Coleman. Uh, whether he is actually better, we will see, and somehow Pedro actually decided to turn down my contract for some reason. Hasn't even got a club, so it doesn't actually make that much sense. We give him his extra 250 quid that he seems desperate for, 
four years, you know, and I tell him that his squad role is going to be a future first team player, whether or not that happens, we will see, uh, and we're moving on to the next, and they want 525, uh, 525,000 for a win, which I'm definitely going to apply to for his, uh, it's so fast, it's just worth it, and it's pennies really, for a player of how good he is. And uh, Pedro has accepted our contract, and uh, we bring him in. So that is Martin Montoya and Pedro Azagu. I'm pretty sure he's a Spanish player. So there's two Spanish players we've bring into the team, two young Spanish players. And I had a look at some strikers, because uh, the strikers aren't too strong. And I come across Leo here, 83 ball control, 82 dribbling. Looks class for its age, but wasn't too sure on him. And I come across Eric Maxine Chupo Moting, one of the longest names in history. Definitely one gonna get him. Just because if he scored it, it'd be a hassle saying his name anyway. So Leo looked pretty good. Uh, I like this stats. Only 19 years of age, Brazilian. Uh, could play striker or centre forward, got good attacking positioning, and he plays for Rayo Vallecano. And uh, my uh, chief director says that apparently I can get him for about 5 to 6 million. I'll be hoping to get less. Uh, and here you go, you can see a win deal has been uh, only wants 3k so for him Pedro and Montoya that's about 20k a week for three players which is good business in my opinion and was six and a half million for Leo which is a bit hefty so we go to four and a half million trying to do a bit of negotiations and hopefully they can uh, bring their price down and then we're moving on to and Dave agreed to it which was great and he only wants 10k a week but I'd even 12 trying to make sure we get this deal done important first thing player, four years which he's asked for and uh, that should be uh, done and dusted and that will be uh, four good players bringing in and uh, there you can see Wynn's contract uh, ex uh, is accepted and up next is Mallorca so please like, subscribe and thanks for watching as you can see there's another offer for our player Nikita Yelovich like I said, thanks for watching like, subscribe, uh, maybe put some in the comments, any good young players to buy, and uh, peace out.